Artfresh has housed things, so if you're a fan of local music, then come to Whirling Dervish, which is in TS1 on a Thursday night. There's no place better to showcase the local talent of Middlesbrough. So let's have a look and see what's going on. Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Whirling Dervish. We've had it going on now um, about two and a half years here at TS1. Coming up to two years, before that we had it in another place called Dr Brown's. Um, I just started putting on independent gigs, like DIY gigs because I wanted somewhere for us to play and my mates to play and stuff and it just it worked out well. Just enjoy doing it for just getting bands on like I said and giving people somewhere to play. The vibe's sort of quite inclusive and like friendly. When we have bands on we try and like people talk to them and stuff, do you know it's not people keep to themselves. We're like no one's bigger than the night sort of thing, no one's bigger than each other. Um, everyone talks, everyone gets on. Um, you always see at the end of the night the headlining band will be stood outside talking to people in the smoking area. And it's just it's really supportive night, especially for new bands who want to play. I, I would say that sometimes I'm surprised by how good bands that we get on because it's a free entry night and it, it's a pub, it's not like a, a proper music venue. But sometimes we get some incredible bands on. Like just last week we had Fighting Caravans on. It was sort of they're getting a lot of hype behind them and they they were brilliant when they were on their work. I like to change it up every week because if it was gonna we couldn't possibly just do indie bands every week because there's not enough indie bands uh, locally anyway. Uh, so it, I try and change it week to week. So for instance, last night was punk. Uh, week before was a bit grungy. Um, next week's. To be honest, next week's quite alternative punky again, but some weeks it's funk, um, some weeks it's indie, some weeks it's poppy. Changes. <laughs> National touring bands coming here like, that are unsigned. We also have the more established local bands. But it's also a really good place. I like to give new bands the first gig or one of the first gigs here. So, and, and with it being free as well, if someone wants to get into the music scene, it's probably, and it's so close to the uni, it's probably the place to go first. 